Rockstars, Lid Shaw. I'm here at AES New York City 2017, standing at the Isotope booth with Alexi Lukin. Lukin. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, Alexi. I understand you're very responsible for Isotope. I'm the principal DSP engineer for RX, and I've been with Isotope for a number of years, almost 15 years, including my part-time. <laughs> I feel like I might need to physically hug you for the number of times that RX has come in and saved a recording session That's for me. That's always so, welcome. <laughs> awesome. Well, so I actually have a question today that came in from a subscriber um, to Recording Studio Rockstars. So this was a shout out to you, Ben Israel. Uh, he asked the question about some of the challenges of using RX to clean up problems in a guitar track. Particularly in his case, I think he was dealing with click track that was bleeding from the headphones through an acoustic guitar mic. And um, I thought I'd let you just kind of talk about how RX can be used to, to do that sort of thing. What are some other acoustic guitar artifacts that it might be helpful with and that sort of stuff? The simplest way to work with guitar tracks and clicks is to use our D-Bleed tool that's new in RX6. With D-Bleed, if you have the click track recorded separately, you can automatically cancel out this click from the guitar track and uh, you just need to have two tracks separately guitar click and the bleed track and the bleed will take care of subtracting one from the other it will take into account any kind of interference between tracks or transfer function frequency response automatically if you don't have the guitar click track uh, guitar and click track separately you would have to manually use either the clicker tool or the spectral repair tool individually on every click the clicker tool might work well enough and it will take care of clicks automatically as long as you don't overuse it it should not create any kind of gaps or drops in level if uh, the click tool doesn't work well enough then spectral repair is the last resort which often works really well for me you can use either the attenuate mode, which is very helpful for squeaks, like fret noises, or the click track in general, uh, the attenuate mode of spectral repair. Or, if the clicks are really drastic and they really cover a lot of the guitar sounds, I would use the replace tool, uh, which is completely discarding your selection and replacing it with something new. That's the new synthesized signal. So, that's awesome. And it's also a lot of... Um you know, it's a lot of new information for some people. So for somebody who's trying to understand what, what this would do, essentially if they have an acoustic guitar track and the headphones are bleeding in and you have click, 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 and it's inside the guitar where the guitar is playing, you can use RX to clean it up so that you do not hear it. Yeah. And all you hear is guitar. We would actually like to promote a new workflow when you have some sort of non-stationary changing interference like clicks going on and your guitar track, try to record the, that interference track separately. Like use a stereo mic or a stereo file and uh, aim one mic at the interference and another mic at your desired source so that later in RX 6 you can use the bleed tool to automatically cancel uh, this kind of distortion. This is something that wasn't available before and just available in RX 6. So that's obviously really useful for things like audio um, post-production for film, like recording on location and when you have a noisy fan or something, but you could use that in the recording studio too, right? Could you like literally have an air conditioner running and just kind of put a second mic on that and maybe remove it from this, the other mic? Absolutely. Even you, if you have a squeaky chair and you know it's squeaking, you can put another mic near where the squeaks happen and wow. we might be able to get it out for you. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Well, Alexi, thank you so much for uh, taking us through that. And uh, Ben, I hope that helps you out. Uh, Rockstars, thanks for watching this. Remember to like subscribe, share this video, and drop a comment in below and tell us some of the issues that you have in your studio sometimes when you're recording that you would love to see RX be able to fix and Isotope be able to help you with. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Cheers.